Hello and uh, welcome back to the scientific computing with Python, uh, one of the certification offered by FreeCodeCamp. And uh, today we are going to begin with our second project. So if this is your first time here, uh, we already did the first project. Uh, that was a uh, land string manipulation by building a Caesar cipher. And uh, we were able to complete it. So on this video, we are going to begin our second project that is learn Python list compression by building a case converter. So list compression is a way to construct a new Python list from an iterable types. So uh, which are lists, tuples, and strings, all without using a for loop or the append list method. In this particular project, we are going to write a program that takes a string formatted in camel case or pascal case, then convert it into snake case. The project has two phases. First, you will use a for loop to implement the program. Then, you will learn how to use list compression instead of a loop to achieve the same result. So, that being said, let's go ahead and begin with step number one, which is where we begin our exercise, and it reads. In this project, you are going to learn about list compression in Python by building a program that can take camel case or Pascal case formatted string and convert that to a snake case formatted string. So what is a list compression? So in Python, list compression are concise way to construct a list without using loops or the append method apart from being brief here list compressions often run faster so in this particular step our first task requires us to create a new function named convert to snake case that accepts a string pascal or camel case string as an input and uh, pass uh, the pass statement inside the function so uh, from our previous uh, project or the one that we did we learned that to define a function in python you use the keyword dev followed by the function name and in our case the function name is convert to camel case so and uh, inside the brackets is where we pass in pascal or camel case string inside here and remember we add colon at the end and the pass statement in the body so let's check our code to see if it's right and proceed to the next step. And uh, that is step number two. Now create a new list named snake case car underscore list. Inside the function, you can use a set of empty square braces to create the new list. This list will hold the characters of the string after you have converted them into snake case. So uh, in Python, list is denoted by brackets, as you can see here, uh, empty square brackets. So brackets are used to denote list, and uh, we are told we need to create an empty one. So down here we come and add a line, take the name, which is snake case character list, and pass in an empty pair of brackets and get rid of the pass statement and check our code to see if it passes and proceed to the next step, which is step number three. Now that you have an empty list in place, you can start iterating through the input string and start converting each character to snake case. So here we are going to use a for loop to iterate through the Pascal or Camel case string, which is the name of the string that we passed in our function. Make sure to name the target variable this, which is the short, which is short for character. For now, add pass as the set. So, uh, hum, below our list, we are going to add a for loop which reads for iterate through the these for these for character in this particular uh, string that we passed earlier. Add the colon and we are going to pass as the statement of our body and uh, check if the code passes correctly and it does and uh, we proceed to the next step and are uh, proceeding to step number four which reads uppercase characters in camel case or pascal case are indicated or indicate the start of new words. So uppercase characters in a camel case phrase or Pascal case indicates the start of new words.
So inside the loop body, so inside the for loop body that we created in the previous step, uh, we are going to introduce an if statement in conjunction with the is upper string method to check for upper case characters and move pass inside the new if. So we are going to add an if statement here, so which reads if character dot is upper the upper is used to check if the character being passed is an uppercase letter this and we are going to pass in the pass statement here and uh, yes and uh, we check the code to make sure everything is correct before proceeding to step number five which reads uh, inside the if statement body you need to convert any uppercase character to lowercase and append an underscore to the lowercase character so uh, inside the if statement that we just created we need to convert any uppercase into lowercase and uh, for that we are going to use the dot lower string method uh, which is used to convert uppercase characters to lowercase characters you can then concatenate an underscore to the character using the plus sign so this is what you are supposed to add to this here. So the task for this particular step reads, assign the modified character to a variable named these inside the if statements. So inside the if statement, first of all, we need to have a character named converted underscore character. And here we are going to pass this statement as it appears here which converts any character into lowercase and uh, with that let's check if the code passes and proceed to the next step and it does so we proceed to step number six and it reads still within the if statement body use the dot append list method to add the converted character to the list you created so we are going to use the dot append method to add the characters that we have converted into the list that we created earlier on which is snake cased character list which at the moment is empty so the task is the dot append method adds a given object to the end of the list you invoke on it so for this one we are going to say snake character dot these are so we are going to copy this entire statement here and we are going to add it at the bottom here and check our code to make sure everything passes correctly and proceed to the next step which is step number seven so step number seven reads add an else clause on the same level as the existing if statement inside the for loop add characters that are already in lowercase to the list of converted characters inside the body of the else clause so uh, we need to add an else clause inside this if statement. So we are going to say else, these, and uh, what are we supposed to do? Add a else clause on the same level of the existing if statement, which we have already done. Inside the for loop, add characters that are already lowercase to the list of converted characters inside the body of the if. So we are supposed to add the characters that have already been converted uh, into lowercase using the else clause so for that uh, this is how we are going to do it so uh to so for that is going to be uh, we are going to take this list here under uh, the append function because that's what is needed and instead of passing the converted character we are going to pass in the character itself and uh, let's check our code to make sure everything passes correctly and it does so we proceed to the next step which is a step number eight by the end of the loop snake cased character list should contain all converted characters in the correct order use the join string method to convert the list of characters into a string so uh, this join this joins the characters from the list to the empty string to which you called the dot join method save the result in a variable name these on the same level as the snake cased variable uh, so on the same level with this so uh, we are supposed to have one tab inside and uh, we are supposed to have a variable named snake cased string as the the okay so uh, the, the task is save the result in a variable named snake cased string 
and uh, we are going to take this copy this and uh, add an equal sign and uh, paste this here and uh, yes and uh, with that uh, let's check our code to be sure everything passes correctly and it does so we proceed to step number nine which reads strings in pascal case start with a capital letter capital character rather since you have converted all such characters to lowercase and prepended an underscore to them chances are the converted snake case strings has a dangling underscore at the start that's true the easiest way to strip such unwanted character is by using the dot strip string method and passing an underscore to the method as an argument uh, so this is the format so make sure to have the resulting string in a variable named these on the same level as the snake so still on this same level we need to have a variable named clean snake cased string so we're going to copy the name press tab paste in the name and add an equal sign and copy this code block given here and paste it here and check our code to be sure everything passes correctly and proceed to the next step which will be step number 10 our last one in this video now all that is left is to complete this function is to return these from the function so go go ahead and return the string by adding return statement at the same level as the clean snake string so still on this level uh, we need to press tab add the return statement and add this name that has been given here and uh, check our code to make sure everything passes correctly and uh, it does so uh, that will be all for this video so see you in the next part where we'll be going over steps 11 through 20